Hello, Dr. Danger Mouse here, and today I'm going to show you how to program a remote Honeywell thermostat, uh, one that controls your boiler and the temperature and so on. Now, here we have um, a remote model CM927, and the first thing we've got to do is set the date and the time. Now, this one is showing the 30th of the 9th, 22, which is correct, so we just press the OK button. Move on to the month, OK, year, OK. And now we're on to the time. Now the time is incorrect. It should be 17.44. So we use the up and down button here. Let's hold it down. Got quite a way to go. Um, okay. Seventeen, which is five, five forty four. Right. Do it one increment at a time, and there we have it. So I'm okay. Press OK. Change is saved. Now we've got to do the programming. Now, if you look here, we've got a whole different set of buttons. We've got off, which turns the whole thing off, so there's no heating whatsoever. The boiler's not on whatsoever. Um, we've got manual. Now, if you set it to manual, that just um, allows you to just come in and press up or down, as and when. Um, but there'll be no on and off automatically. Um, the automatic is when you've programmed the actual thermostat itself, but we haven't done that. We're going to program it now. Now, the most important things here are you've got to know what day you're programming. Here it's Monday. And also, along the bottom, you've got six settings here, and they are the on and off times. Um, it looks complicated, but it's not. And what I've done is a geek sheet for you to help you program it. Now bear with me because the geek sheet will come in useful when we actually program the thermostat. Now because I'm an engineer I've decided to draw you up a geek sheet. Now it looks complicated but it's not and it will become really apparent once you start to program the um, thermostat. Now there are generally two scenarios in houses, one where you heat three times a day and one where you have the heating on twice a day. Now, if you have the heating on three times a day, remember this on and off, six on and offs per day. For example, on a Monday, we'd want it to come on at 8.20 at 21 degrees. When we leave for work at 9 o'clock, we want it to drop down to 12 degrees. When we come home for lunch um, at 12.30, we want it to go back up to 21. When we leave to go back to work at 1.30, we want it to drop to 12 degrees. When we come back to watch EastEnders at 7 o'clock, we want it to drop to, uh, go up to 21 degrees and uh, when we go to bed at 10 o'clock we want a comfortable ambient 16 degrees Celsius. Now when the heating's on twice a day obviously we don't want the heating on in the middle of the day so we have to play with the timings a little bit. So the heating will come on at 8.20 at 21 degrees centigrade. We leave for work at 9 o'clock and it drops to 12 degrees centigrade. Now we're out all day so what we do is we play with the timings a bit. We just say at 9.31, we want it to remain at 12 degrees centigrade until nine, uh, 7 o'clock um, when it's 12 degrees centigrade. But at 7.01, we want it to go up to 21. And when we go to bed, it's 16 degrees centigrade. So this middle section here, we're basically telling it that it's just going to remain at 12 all the way through lunch. And that's how it works. Now, obviously, I've put these timings in and these temperatures, but you can change them to suit yourself. And while you're here, you can admire my homegrown tomatoes, which are actually a bit crappy. So now we're going to program the actual thermostat itself. OK, we're back programming the thing now. Where you've looked at the geek sheet and it will all become apparent. Um, so we're working along here, setting all the ons and offs. And the first on is when we want to have it all the house nice and warm for you when we go to work. So we want that for 8.20. 
and then we press OK. We want the temperature to be 21, because it's quite cold at the moment, and then press OK. And then we're now leaving for work, so we leave for work at uh, 9.10. And we want the temperature to drop to 12, so it's already already set at 12, so we can just OK that. And now we're on number 3. We're coming back um, for lunch, and we're coming back at 12.30. So we OK that. And again, we want the temperature to go up to 21. a lot of pressing of buttons. <laughs> there we go, we okay that. All right then, once we've finished our lunch at 1.30 and we've left for work, okay, we then want the temperature to drop to 12 from the 21. There we go, okay. And now we're coming back from work. So we are coming back about seven o'clock because we're really, really hard workers. Not. <laughs> Probably been down the pub after work. Okay, that's 7 p.m. And we want the temperature to go up to 21. And we okay there. And then we go to bed at 10 o'clock because we're very virtuous and at that time we don't want the room too warm so we have it drop from 21 to 16 oops okay 16 okay and that is one day programmed now there's a, a really nice feature it says they complete there so you know you've done the whole of Monday. Here it says copy day. So you can copy to Monday to Tuesday. Saves you having to reprogram Tuesday. Okay. Day copied. And okay. 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 And then you can copy Tuesday to Wednesday. You can make changes as you copy, as you can see it's flashing, but if you just want to copy the date as it is, just go copy to Thursday, day copied. If you want to copy Thursday to Friday, copy to Friday. And that, basically, is your whole Monday to Friday done. Okay, so we've done the working week, and just say we want to dive in or program the weekend there is one handy little button we've got up here called day. So if we want to do Saturday, for example, just click that, click that, scroll through, scroll through, and there we go. We can do exactly the same thing for Saturday, and we can do exactly the same thing for Sunday. Um, but if Saturday and Sunday are the same as each other, like your working weeks, you can use the copy day once you've set Saturday and once you've programmed Saturday. So it's really quite nifty. Now what you've got to remember to, once you've done all the changes and all the programs, all you need to do then is set this to auto. Now you'll see this screen and all the programs that you've put in there are recorded and will be automatically coming on and off and on and off. So that's it. It's, it looks more complicated than it is um, and you've now got a programmed Honeywell remote thermostat. Uh, if you found this video useful, could you please press like and also uh, subscribe? That'd be great. Um, thank you for your time. Bye.